kennel. So I gave him a little more body language. I kind of blocked with my body the crate and moved towards the dog bed because we're using the cute kennel for both of those things. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we're back with another Sprig video. Today's gonna be a progress report, progress update with him. Sprig is five months old. We're gonna show you just where his obedience work is at, where a little bit of the collar conditioning work that we've started is at, and then because it is important for everybody in the family to get involved in the puppy's training, we're actually gonna switch handlers today and have Cat work through all of the same things. So we'll demo where he's at for me, who's been doing most of his training, and then we're gonna have Cat step in as a new handler and show the importance of everybody being part of the training. So. We're going to get started here with Sprig by putting on his collar. Come on, buddy. Good job. Hello, sit up. Sit up, bud. Good. Good job. All right. Tuck, come on, tuck. There we go. Good. So we will do a little bit of our clicker training work. Here, hey, hey, hey. Good, good, stop. So again, he's super pumped for this. It's important to reward him and condition the behaviors that we're looking for. He's trying to figure out how good. Do I get some food? But at the same time, we can't condition bad habits like him jumping up at me just because he's excited. He can't jump up to get rewarded. <laughs> Sit. Good. Small handfuls right now. It's not the, the single kibble. He eats his food pretty quickly. So it's not detracting from our training situation to give him three or four kibble at a time. Kennel. Good boy. Sit, hey, 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 sit, good. Now, in that situation, I asked for him to sit. He didn't sit immediately. He kind of twirled around trying to figure out what I was looking for. So I said, hey, 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 got his attention, sit, good, and ask again. You wanna make sure that your puppy is focusing before you ask, and if you do ask for that behavior and he's not focused, Get his attention before you ask again. Don't just be sitting here, sit, 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 while he's kind of running around. He said, I heard you. Okay, here, good, sit, good. Kennel, good job, good job. Now we're gonna incorporate his crate here. We're gonna work through a few reps with this. Good boy. You can see he's pretty comfortable at going in here. Good, kennel. Good job, okay. You can see here, we have both kennels um, and by using our body, kennel, good. We can help direct him to which one we're looking for when they're in this close of proximity. Sprig, sprig, kennel, good, okay. Sit, good. Make sure he's doing what we're asking, kennel, Good boy. Good job. Sprig here. Sit. Kennel. Good boy. Yeah. That's what we like. Good handful of food there. Now, we had started collar conditioning to um, kennel on the place board. So we're actually going to take away this distraction again. Okay. Each of these doors go in. Really easy. You can get the holes lined up. There we go. Perfect. So we've taken away that distraction. We're just gonna be working with the dog bed and we're going to incorporate food into this as well. So vibrate turns on, sprig, kennel. Good. And some dog food, okay. And then the vibrate turns on, kennel, good job. Okay, 
the vibrate turns on. Kennel, good. Do a few more reps. Where you at? Where are you at? Sprig, kennel, good boy. Okay. Kennel, good boy. Okay. Sprig, kennel, good job. So he's got a really good understanding of all of these things. Collar conditioning to go onto the dog bed, um, and then all of the basic obedience that we've already been working with, including kenneling in his crate. We're gonna do one more rep. Kennel, good job, buddy. And now we're gonna switch handlers and have Cat work through basically the same things and handle him with that. So you can already see that we had momentum in this training session where Ethan was working with Sprig and Sprig just followed him right over to the camera because that's who'd been working with him. But we're gonna show, <clears throat> excuse me, why it's important for Sprig to learn and be comfortable working for me as well. So I'm gonna first go through some of the basics with the clicker training and then incorporate the collar conditioning as well. So first I'm just gonna get Sprig to come in and touch my hand, Sprig here. Sprig kennel. Sit. Good. Here. Kennel. I'm gonna go ahead and take the door off of our crate so we have a couple other options. I know you really want another handful of food here. Now I haven't asked for him to kennel yet. Ugh. Hold on, buddy. I know, I just gotta get this to unclip here. So I hadn't asked him to kennel. He's just eager to get another handful of food, another food reward. He's very food motivated. But because I hadn't asked him to actually go in his crate, I wasn't going to mark and reward that. Is it a good behavior? Yes, but right now he's just kind of jumping around a little bit frantically still because he's hungry, ready to eat. Um, so I want him to be responding to the cue that I'm actually asking for. So, Sprig, kennel. I gave him a little bit of body language where I moved towards that crate. Sit. Here. Kennel. So I gave him a little more body language. I kind of blocked with my body the crate and moved towards the dog bed because we're using the cue kennel for both of those things. So as you can see, um, Sprig's working very well for me. Again, he followed Ethan off camera, off screen when he was going to start um, doing the videoing because Ethan's been doing most of his training sessions. Now I've jumped in and helped a little bit throughout this process, but probably one or two reps on each thing as we were getting pictures and things like that for social media, but I haven't been as involved in all of his training sessions. So Ethan was able to build some momentum with the session, and then I was able to step in and get very similar results because we've been working on the clicker training and I've stepped in here and there. But it is important for everyone that's going to want this dog to listen to them to be involved in training. So I'm gonna do a couple more reps, sit. Kennel, kennel. Then I'm also going to use the e-collar. So my clicker is gonna go away at this point. I'm gonna use still a little bit of rewards and then I haven't asked. So spray kennel, as soon as he's on. Oh, the collar shuts off. Now I made a little bit of a mistake there. I reached for him and he lunged kind of off of the dog bed. So we're gonna try that again. Sprig kennel, he's feeling the collar. As soon as he gets on the dog bed, it shuts off. Then I can come up, give him a reward. Okay. Sprig kennel. So we can start working on kennel duration with this where he stays on the dog bed for longer and longer and then if he comes off of the dog bed he would feel the collar until he's back on the dog bed kennel and this is a way that you can start with 
extending your place training. But let's go ahead and let him have the rest of his meal. Well, there's a freebie on the ground. I'm gonna just ask him to sit one more time. Sit. And I'm gonna hold that click so that we can get closer and closer to the ground. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Good boy. So he's gonna get the rest of his meal, which he's ready for, for sure. But thank you for following along with Spriggs videos. Uh, we'd love it if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook so that you don't miss any more great videos with Sprig. Thank you.